I'm Hildy Weber. And I'm Evelyn Elliott. Join us as we undertake a journey to find out everything you want to know about real estate in the greater Seattle area. We're here in Ballard, Washington, home of the Pacific Fishing Fleet. Ballard, located in the northwestern part of Seattle, has long been a favorite place to live and work. It has a long history of being the center of Seattle's fishing industry. Here at Fisherman's Terminal, visitors can see a variety of working fishing vessels, whether docked or on their way to fish the waters of the Pacific Ocean. And it was the fishing industry and the availability of jobs that attracted many Scandinavian immigrants to settle in Ballard. Ballard's Nordic Heritage Museum is a must-see to learn more about the area's Scandinavian history. Today, Ballard still holds on to its Nordic past. Its heritage is visible everywhere, from Scandinavian flags at a grocery store to speciality bakeries and stores. We stopped in at Scandinavian Specialities and met up with manager Bjorn Rue. Good morning, Bjorn. Um, tell us a little bit about your lovely store. Well, we've been here for 15 years. We were up the street for uh, 40 years before that almost, and uh, we're definitely a big part of the Ballard community and the Scandinavian community here as well. Wonderful. Tell me about some of the products you, you guys sell here. You have so much in this well, store. Exactly. We have everything from Norwegian cheese to sweaters to books about Sweden and traveling over in Scandinavia. And we have our own sausage production facility here and a kitchen that serves a full cafe. Um, I have fancy glass from Sweden. I have uh, all sorts of products from Scandinavia. Who's your typical client that would come to the store? Is it strictly tourists? No, and historically we catered a lot to the older demographic, the older Scandinavians who are directly off the boat, things like that. But over the last few years, especially with the change in the demographic of Ballard in general, to a younger, hipper, more urban community, we've been able to capture some of the Scandophiles, uh, as I like to call them, the people who are enamored with Scandinavian culture and food and cuisine and all that and bring them into the store because there's design elements to Scandinavian stuff that you won't find in other parts of the world and other cultures and there's cuisine and food things that are very unique and we do a really good job of holding on to those traditions here. Yeah, your food is wonderful. Oh, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Of course, absolutely, thank you. Specializing in Danish pastries and breads, Larsen's Bakery has been a ballad temptation since 1974. Bread from my favorite bakery. Peter Rizzo is the chief baker at Larson's. He told us a bit more about this famous bakery. Peter, can you tell us a little bit about your bakery? Uh, we make a lot of traditional uh, Scandinavian uh, uh, treats and desserts and croissants and different things like that and uh, you know, old world uh, recipes and uh, old traditions of, you know, uh, of Copenhagen. Breads and pastries are baked fresh every day, and we watched as Peter prepared a fresh batch of bread. Whether bread or pastries, Larson's offers a mouth-watering variety, and making a choice is hard. But no matter what you choose, you cannot go wrong at Larsen's. For many residents of Norwegian descent, the Leif Eriksson Lodge is a lifeline. Here, Norwegian heritage comes alive. Lee Earnhardt is the current president of the lodge. And with our meetings here, we try to have cultural events, and we have an annual bazaar two-day event in October, and then we just had uh, in March a, a one-day event called Heritage Day, where all along the perimeter of the building here are lined up with different booths of people doing things, making things, painting things, uh, weaving clothes, weaving rugs, uh, showing how lefse is made and various other kinds of foods. 
So we try to bring the cultural aspect out, but that's what Sons of Norway is. It's people who love their, their heritage, their culture, and their cultural background. Lee, do you have to be Norwegian to join the Leif Erikson Lodge, or can anybody join? Well, that's a good question, because anybody can join, and I'm the perfect example of the non-Norwegian. I love the culture, I've been a part of it uh, for almost all my life, but I'm actually of English and German background. So I'm what's called the adopted son and there's room for me. It's because I love the culture. So yes, anybody could join, and everybody's welcome. A vibrant community with an energetic nightlife, Ballard offers a rich variety of restaurants, shops, bars, and hotels. It's one of the most popular places to live and play in the Seattle area, and housing comes in all shapes and forms. From established condo complexes, to newly built condos and townhomes, to established neighborhoods, such as Olympic Manor, which offers mid-century homes in a variety of styles. Tudor-style homes remain a Ballard favorite. An example of a beautiful Tudor-style home in lovely downtown Ballard. The Tudor-style homes of Ballard typically have pitched roofs, brickwork, high chimneys, tall windows, and porches. The homes are charming and reminiscent of cottages. Need other reasons for living in Ballard? Consider its great parks and beaches. Within minutes from downtown Seattle, you are surrounded by nature at its finest. And there's even a great beach at Ballard's Golden Gardens Park. The Hiram Chittenden Locks in Ballard provide a link for boats between the fresh water of the lakes and the salt water of the Puget Sound. By the locks, there is a fish ladder which allows salmon to pass between the fresh water and salt water. And a viewing window allows visitors to watch the process. The botanical garden by the locks provides year-round enjoyment. our tour of the fabulous Ballard area. So if you're interested in moving to this wonderful corner of Seattle, contact us.